Okay, let's take a look now at computing slope using rise run triangles. This is probably the most basic form uh, of computing slope. It doesn't use too much of a formula. Uh, the only formula that it really is trying to make any use of is this one right here. Okay, uh, well, more of a model here of rise and run, and the slope is going to be computed by doing the rise divided by the run. Okay. Now if we notice here, there's a triangle made here. Rise is the amount of change in the vertical direction, which is dictated by this. And run is the amount of change in the horizontal direction, which is dictated by this part of the triangle. Okay, so you have to imagine these triangles, and the triangles are between the two points. Okay, so I tend to set, start on the leftmost point when I do this because it is easiest to do it that way in that you will need to go to your right, and we naturally read that way. So sometimes we will go up and right, sometimes we will go down and right. You can do it from the rightmost point as well. You're going to get the same number, but this is just the easiest way to do it. Okay, so I have some pairs of points here that are by color, and we'll see how we're going to do in terms of uh, creating these triangles. Okay, so let's see here. Um, the one point I need to visualize in my mind is this point right here to make the triangle. Okay, so what we're going to do here is we're going to count from here to here. Okay. And we see that that is a rise of 3. And then we are going to count from that point horizontally to the right. And we are going to see that that is a run of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay? Uh, you don't need to draw this part of the triangle, but it is the part that is the line that connects the points. Uh, it is what we've computed the slope of, so it is good to see that. So we have here that rise over run is 3 divided by 5. It can also be expressed as 0.6. It doesn't need to be. Okay, but it does need to be simplified. 3 fifths cannot be simplified any further, so that is going to be fine. Okay, so what we have next is we'll do the purple points. And we'll take a look here. The point I need to find here is probably right about here. Okay, very important to get that point right. So I've triangled the two points off now. And what we're going to do is count the rise from here to here, which is 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, I'll write that on the side of the triangle. And then we're going to go, excuse me, wrong tool, from that point to... this point, which gives me 1, 2, 3, 4 as well, okay, and that is the slope between these two points, excuse me, okay, which in fact is 4 over 4. We cannot, however, leave the answer that way. We need to simplify that. And what we get there is 1. Not 1 over 1, just 1. Okay? So you will get credit taken off on a test or a quiz uh, if you leave your answers 4 over 4. And on a multiple choice test, you probably won't even see 4 over 4. Okay, so continuing on with the green points. Um, this is going to be a little different here. Because the point I need to find, if I start at this leftmost point, is going to be here. So we should notice that as we're going downhill from left to right, we're going to get a negative slope. Okay, so let's take a look at that by creating our rise, which is from here down. Okay, now it's really important that you see that in going down, it is a negative slope. Excuse me, it's a negative rise, which as I go to the right, is going to create a negative slope because 
going to the right creates a positive run, and a negative divided by a positive will give us a negative. So the slope between these two points is negative 3 over 2, which cannot be simplified, so that is in fact the final answer. Okay, so now looking at these orange points, we also notice from left to right they go downhill. So we need to find that point of intersection in the triangle. Okay, so it looks like as I trace with my eye, it's going to be right here. Okay. So, in starting from point that's given to this important point here, I need to add to make the triangle. I see that's a slope of, I'm sorry, it's a rise of negative 3 again. And then the run here is going to be from here to this point. And you'll see that I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Now, again, that is the slope of the line that connects these two points. Okay. And that slope is negative 3 over 6, which you cannot leave that way because that answer is, in fact, negative 1 half. Okay. This, again, is the process of computing the slope between any two given points on a graph. Okay, there's a way to do it with a formula, which you've probably seen is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. That involves actual algebra. This involves counting and knowledge of a rise-run triangle, and that the slope formula is, in fact, computed as rise divided by run, which will give you what is called M, or the slope. It's often called M. Some books call it A. Okay? Um, excuse me, some uh, books will call it D, uh, depending on which book you're in, but traditionally it's called M. And there you have it.